Hello tacticians, it's Nox here playing Warhammer 40k Tacticus and as you may have noticed we are in a new character release event. This time we are trying to get Dark Strider and he is unlocked at rarity value of rare. Uh, so he will take a bit longer to unlock than the previous two that we had. The two things that we want to have a look at here is active, which is the fighting retreat where adjacent enemies gain a marker light, and they also have one fewer hits and deal less damage for one round. Dark Strider and adjacent allied units ignore their close combat weakness trait for ranged attacks until the end of the turn. So basically if you're close to them and you move away, you still get to shoot. As a bonus, if Dark Strider is adjacent to an enemy, he can immediately take another turn, which I assume means he can attack again, after using this ability. So how good is this ability? I've been told his movement is three, and so it's a bit of a risk. You have to probably be within shooting range on the first turn before you actually move in. Then you need to move in, you'll probably attack in close combat, which Tau aren't great with, then move away and then shoot. I mean, admittedly, they'll get a marker light, which isn't that great for guild raid bosses, and is probably a, maybe a, a decent amount of use in the tournament arenas. But it is a very situational one. This isn't Calendis's move, where Calendis can move to be within range, shoot, and then move to a safer position. This is literally you're already in range, you're moving in to touch them and then you're moving away again. Uh, now, we probably will get to shoot twice, which is great, and ignore the close combat weakness. But it's not in the same realms as Calendus. It is going to depend on how good his close combat is and how good his range is with his gun. If his range is only two, like I've been told, this guy may actually be sitting on the bench for all of the tournament arenas. I mean, yes, he is a nice uh, bonus here for the town with the mark lights, but I'm really not sure it's got what it needs to make him worthwhile. His other ability, the Structural Analyzer, units hit by range attacks from Dark Shriner, Gain a Mark Light. Again, great for Tau. And allied units adjacent to Dark Shriner deal more damage with range attacks against those targets with a Mark Light. Again, you have to be close together, and it's no good against Guild Raid bosses, as I said before. He is going to be a very situational character, and I really don't know where he's going to be used. Now, as always, I will take him into the tournament arena just to see how good he is, but I don't have high hopes for this guy. And I severely hope I'm wrong, because the character himself is actually very cool if you look into the history uh, in the lore. Speaking of the tournament arena, we have another one coming up on March the 2nd, so probably enough time to unlock this guy and get him ready. But the more interesting one that we probably wish to pay some attention to is there's a new legendary event for Orn Shi, which starts on March the 19th. Now, could this character be useful there? Well, the Tau have their own um, attack type, which is Pulse, so... Maybe there'll be one where you need to use pulse attacks, but with only three characters, including Dark Strider here, with access to pulse damage, I don't think that's actually going to be the case. Even if we take into account his other ability, which is the Infiltrate, I think there's only three characters in the whole game with Infiltrate now. So having characters using only Infiltrate in any of the missions for Anshi is very unlikely. Where does this leave this character? He is certainly underwhelming in guild raids, from what we know, and probably at best situational in the tournament arena. And probably not much good in unlocking the legendary characters. Now, I'm only basing this on what I currently know, which is as much as you guys do, just by looking at his um, equipment here. And I really hope I'm wrong. I'm personally a fan of the Tau, and I think Ray Vass has done very well, and Shosil, to a lesser degree, also has his place. Dark Strider is really going to have to earn his place, and the only place I can see him being used is if, or when, we get a campaign for the Tau. Now, who they'd be fighting is anybody's guess. But he'll certainly shine there, because all of his abilities do help existing Tau. No matter what I currently think about how he may perform, the reality is we won't really know until we get our hands on him and actually try him out. So if you're trying to do your best to unlock, uh, visit the Tacticus fandom wiki, which has all the missions that you need to go through to help unlock him. 
there are a few that you will need to watch out for and maybe plan for. Uh, they're the missions four, which maybe everyone's done by now. We need to do 20 arena battles. 10, where you've got another 20 arena battles. 15, where, guess what? There's another 20 arena battles. And 17, where you need to actually deploy Dark Strider with five battles and survive. So what do you think of this new character? Are you excited to get him? Are you hoping he's better than he's actually portrayed to be at this moment in time? Or maybe you're looking forward to the new legendaries. Please like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you're thinking. And I'll see you on the battlefield.